Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be speaking about um, the Daniel Fast. I did a Daniel Fast and I put it up, up on my um, YouTube channel and it started to do really well this year. I think as everyone starts going to the new year, they said, okay, I think I need to do a Daniel Fast to see how life is going to get for me, get better for me. So as I did it, a lot of people asked me, what did I eat? How did I manage it? So in this video, I'm literally just going to simply explain to you guys what I actually did during my Daniel Fast how it helps me elevate my life and how things have changed from now. Okay, so firstly, um, when I did Daniel Fast, I did it in 2020, September 2020. So, you know, lockdown was still pretty much in its full swing. Things were pretty much scary at that time. A lot of people didn't know how life was gonna get, you know, whether we're gonna continue this in another three, four, five years, or, you know, how long we're gonna be locked us down, locked away. And, you know, life was a bit weird back then. I'll put a link down below of the Daniel Fast, but you know, I got my license, which I was praying about. I got more clarity and, and I was connecting more with God. And also um, I got a job, you know, and I'm still in that job right now. Thankfully moved into a bigger role um, as a data engineer, which I will touch base on. But um, yeah, that was literally what I prayed about the Daniel Fast. So literally how did I actually you know successfully finished the three week fast eating no meat no butter no milk i don't even drink milk anyway but you know just physically like withdrawing myself from things that i usually indulge in and going straight into the things like eating nuts eating um uh wheated pasta full wheat pasta minimal salt and seasoning because i'm a nigerian woman i like my food to be very seasoned um, I like chicken too so you know having to withdraw myself from these things was challenging but the sacrifice was necessary especially with the results I wanted to get after so um, that's what I ate I'm going to just give you a list I'm going to show you a um, just a list of things I did eat things I didn't eat so these are things I did eat and di didn't eat and um, basically during this time I ate these foods after 3 p.m. So after 3 p.m. I would obviously pray like 9 a.m., 12 noon, 1, 3. And then 3 I would usually like stop praying. That's when I'll break and then I will still have my foods and then I'll pray continuously like at 6, 9 and then I think it was 10, depending on what time I slept. But I'll consistently pray at the different hours because during this time I didn't have a job so it was easier for me to really dedicate a lot of time and effort into you know connecting with jesus and really lie on god to really show me things because if i had a job guys this would have not been possible i can't even lie if i had a job and i was fasting like this i think i would have to take three weeks off or like just take some time off because it would have been so challenging especially like um fasting and working using brain power is something that is just it's difficult man it's, it's difficult i can't lie it's very difficult so um yeah that's how i did it and i also wrote a list down in the video you did see me i had a notepad i wrote a list of all the things i wanted god to do for me and i wrote verses at the side of it and then after i did that those hours i was praying i was praying on each and every one of those points so obviously when i go to sleep or take naps during the day i'm i know i've been praying about it so what i see is according to what i want god to do for me i literally stopped going on social media twitter instagram facebook no facebook but you know all the things tiktok i wasn't really on it then um and i was really just allowing myself to only read the bible watch sermons um i didn't watch tv other than if i was watching a sermon or watching a pastor preach about something that is relating to what i was praying about um if i would get bored because you know there's sometimes where I won't do anything much during the day so i would take a lot of naps during the day and during those naps i would see a lot of like i'll have an influx of dreams and revelations and things and it was it was good i mean it was really really good because my eyes were really really open okay having things like nuts and um no dairy or butter things like that it helps me focus and strengthen my mind so everything that i was praying about i had a one track mind into what i was praying about and i was just focusing on god so the focus was divine but it's almost two years on and i feel like my life has completely elevated from that point you know not only can i drive and i have a job and you know things are moving in my life but things make more sense and i feel like i'm moving in a direction where 
I can I see you know a clear path as opposed to before there was uncertainty you know there was a clarification so definitely if you want to do the Daniel fast definitely um, eat the right foods because it does help and it tunes your mind and it focus, allows you to focus more on what you're actually trying to achieve. Thank you for watching this video. This was just a quick um, Daniel Fast um, update in terms of foods and things. So a lot of people have been asking me, but definitely do the Daniel Fast. It's very helpful. It strengthens your spiritual life, your spiritual intuition, your discernment. It strengthens everything all around. And even if any type of fast, and you just restrict yourself from those foods that can really just maybe take your mind away from where God wants you to be guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video i post everything all things tech and yeah thank you for watching bye guys mm -hmm.